to be, I'm about to be real open. Like I'm about to like tell tell y'all something that the world the, the world do not know. For those that watch, oh. you're getting some game basically. Oh. Okay, oh, so bro. yeah, so when people see me, especially because like they're like, oh, she has an OnlyFans. Like I'm always in the club. Like mm -hmm. like I'd be twerking. She belongs to the streets. And then people that do fuck with me, they're always surprised when they fuck with me because they think I'm a because yeah, I would I think like everyone I fuck with be trying to wipe me and shit. I think it's because I know what I'm doing. However, I have like actually not had like a lot of people. I've had a lot of but not and I've tried different people. a ton. Like I'm open to everything. Like when I say everything, like everything. Like there's yeah, not a lot yeah. of that I haven't tried. Well, but literally I'm in like single digits of guys that I've because I feel like not everybody deserves to get this. Like, We're wrong. We need the will of God. We need Allah. Listen, I'm ready for the asteroid. I've had enough. Oh, shit. Ah! And honestly, I don't know if men have caught on to this yet, but like our standards have risen and they're gonna keep rising so those old tricks those old games you used to run it's not gonna work anymore the only thing that's gonna work is that you get therapy you grow you fix yourself because we don't give a anymore okay we're out here making money running circles around you clowns and it's just not gonna happen so until you decide to look in the mirror and check yourself okay we don't want anything to do with it because the isn't that great wrong y'all are not even emotionally intelligent you can't pay a bill what can you do it's one thing if we didn't have high standards because we're not pulling our own weight but we have pulling our own weight half these women out here period point blank we are, we have built our own table like we built the chair the table we cooked the food we catered the food out shut the fuck up and sit down now according to the book of the cheek pounding prophecy section thought of ladians it states if a girl has a lot of ink on her body and has multiple tattoos just know she's getting ran through by multiple dudes and her brain is probably fried from all the d's she slurped and blew that's why when these girls talk they don't got a damn clue perfect now, Father, may we start this church off? Can you smack the cream out of this cream gobbler? Whoa, 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 whoa. Pick it up! What what's wrong with her? What what's wrong with her? Lupus! How do you can Thank you very much, Father. Now, the Godfather said it best, and may God rest his soul. Mr. Kevin Samuels once said that there are three things that the modern woman will do to a man. Number one, they will shame you. Y'all have it easier because women have to be attractive. Y'all don't. You could be a two out of ten but be rich. Two, insult you. Because the isn't that great. Y'all are not even emotionally intelligent. Three, last but not least, the need to be right. Has there ever been a guy you wanted that you weren't able to get? Fuck no. So why do women complain about men when women are the ones choosing the shitty men? Well, the men are not, literally, so I'm gonna put it like this. Men, they'll date you correct, but then when you all start getting comfortable, that's when they show that they're not shit. And then that's when it comes onto the woman's part of leaving the motherfucker, because if they're not shit, then you need to fucking leave them. But the first, men shouldn't be shit in the first place, because why are you putting on a whole persona just to be not shit in the first place? Like, you can't do all that. If women are smarter than men, why Which do they, they keep, are. If women are smarter than men, why do they keep believing men's lies and opening up their legs? Because it's called manipulation. It's not opening up their legs. If I'm hearing something from man and I'm like, okay, why? first of all, why would you lie to me in the first place? If you're a liar, why are you doing that? It doesn't fall onto the woman, it falls onto the man, because what are you lying for? See? Is it true women typically want what they can't have? Um, no. Why lying for? Don't women end up... <laughs> Don't women end up working for a man's attention if he's the high value man she says she wants? They're not a lot. That's the thing. Women are the prize. That's what the people get it up. Well, wait, wait. I find it absolutely baffling when a woman says, I am the prize. Wait, 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 wait. I am the queen. I'm delicious. I'm a snack. A snack? More like f 
food poisoning. Uh, work. The sooner you'll be partnerized, I taste shit. You do. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. If, if, if high value men are rare, why wouldn't the high value man be the prize? They're not the prize because what? What was there? There's less of them to go around. The man. They're more rare. Yeah, where are they? I, I've been searching. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. That would make them a prize. A They're diamond not is a, prize. a diamond is a prize because no, it's rare. No, no, the women are the prize because women they got a pussy. You know what I mean? It makes the world go round. A man so, got a woman. So no, wait, wait, wait. Pussy make, makes the whole entire world go round. Whenever you guys come across a girl that says my special powers comes from my wop, women are the prize because women they got a pussy. You know what I? Mean? Gentlemen, that wop does not stand for wet ass pussy. Now, according to the Thought Dictionary, that WAP stands for Warrants and Probation. That WAP stands for Worn Out and Pathetic. Overcooked on the bottom, crispy as fuck, and it looks like Gandhi's flip flop. That WAP stands for Worn Out Pussy. Your pussy stank. Your pussy stank. Yo pussy stay, Yo pussy stay, feminine wild. And if you try to stick your schmackle in that cooter, it's like putting your flesh rocket on a plate full of acid. Okay, if all the men in the world were gay, how would have power? I really hope they were because at this point, what the fuck is going on? No, women still have the power either way because. We're a woman, you know what I mean? A man is a man, but a woman is a woman. I thought women wanted equality. Do women want to be equal or special? We want equality with equal pay. I'm not trying to get beat my ass beat. I want equal pay because it's like, why am I going to college? I'm getting A's and B's and this nigga got C's. All right, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me ask this. Sweetheart, let me try to word this as nice as I can. You want to stop the wage gap? Then perhaps you should probably change your majors from pottery, behavioral general studies, to maybe computer science. And have you guys ever noticed that the girls with the flattest titties be having the most attitude and the most to say? Like, bitch, haven't you gotten everything off your chest already? Because this girl's titty is so flat that all the kids in physical education class use her titty as a yoga mat. The stuff that is coming out of this woman's mouth. She is clearly a feminist. And the truth about feminism, here's a truth bomb. Feminism is not about woman. It's not about equality, but it is about power. Do you think women are more interested in love or power? Power. Could it be because women <laughs> use sex to get power? Some of them, yes, yeah. And gentlemen, notice in all the interviews with feminists, they won't let anybody speak. They will always talk over you. They simply cannot keep their mouth shut and just listen. You know, that's like an ignorant way to stand, right? Like, Why? you're over here, I tell you- I'm actually half fast. handicapped, so that's very offensive that you said that. Yeah, no, yeah. I can probably tell I'm that super offended, offended actually. Yeah. yeah. So lying and being a high conflict is part of your personality <laughs> disorder. Why are you looking at women with your f***ing eyes? Are you a woman? Are you a woman? Yo, 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 yo. Oh my god, so you- Oh, I so couldn't, you, I didn't even know, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not binary, so it doesn't really matter. Like, that's why I asked. I was trying to be polite. That's what you should do, right? Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you guys this. The truth will set you free. But at first, it's going to piss you off. Now here's the God honest truth about feminism. If you ladies claim to be a strong independent woman, a true example of a strong independent woman is a woman who do not believe and need feminism in the first place. Because a lot of feminists do not even know what they're fighting for and have absolutely no clue what in the two rats ass fucking in a ranch Dorito bag what they are talking about. Take a look. Y'all have it easier because women have to be attractive. Y'all don't. You could be a 2 out of 10 but be rich and now you're gonna pull some of the most attractive women, women ever. Women have to look top notch to get y'all's attention. Y'all could just have money. Why do women often tell themselves to never settle? 
Oh, because we do so much work. Like once you get into a relationship, we're going to be constantly doing all the work. So if you settle from the beginning, you're going to just be miserable. You're going to be settled. Is, is the man not doing a lot of work by being a provider? No, not necessarily. Well, what, what's all the work that the women are talking about doing? Well, we're kind of like our men's manager. Like we make sure you're up on time. We make sure you're doing things right. We make sure you look presentable we we're like your but i mean if a man wasn't capable of doing all that stuff himself would the woman even find him attractive in the first place no well we don't know that at first we don't know that well until... i mean obviously i mean a man has to be able to take care of himself in order to have the status and the, the physique and you know all the discipline that you know women would find attractive yes. to begin with right yes but that level is Men, what men require and what we bring to the table is on two different levels. What we, what we want and what we, what we bring. What does a woman bring to the table? Like, like, like I said, we're like the manager. We put you in position so you can be better. So here's my two cents. And please correct me if I am wrong. It seems to me that the majority of the modern women, they do not want to be in a relationship. They just want to be financially taken care of while being free to do whatever they want. Because there are three things that the modern woman want is first, the authority of a man, the accountability of a child, and three, the privileges of a woman. And some of these girls do not understand when a man is building his wealth, it takes decades. It takes consistent grind sacrifice and effort some of these girls think that money come shooting out of my ass cheeks men go out every day they sacrifice spending time with their children they sacrifice living a peaceful relaxing life so that they can go out and provide for their family so their wife can stay home and relax women like resenting men for wanting to provide for the family it, it's it's truly unbelievable and women are trying to compete with men and it's so unnecessary my beloved brothers before i end this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and if you really appreciate the content and would like to donate, please hit that thank you button. It really helps out the channel a lot and it's very much appreciated. Now, before I end this video, allow me to bless you guys with the Cheek Slain Gospels. It states, feminism did not free women of the bonds they knew they had, but it freed men from the bonds they knew they never had. Now. Allow me to send you off this verse from the Cheek Slain Collapulations. It states, If she is beautiful and that ass is fat, she looks like a snack, but her attitude and energy is whack. Body shaped like a Coca-Cola bottle, but that soda is flat. That's why the men in her life never come running back. That's why she would be alone with her cats. How many women out there are fucking dudes they shouldn't be fucking? Loads. And do you know how I know that for a fact? Because loads of them are fucking me. And I don't give them shit. Women don't know what's good for them. Women ain't got a fucking clue what's good for them. You know who does know who's good, what's good for chicks? Their father. I guarantee there would be less divorce, happier families, and a better society as a whole if the women could only marry the men their father says they could marry. You're giving women this free choice shit. When is the last time a woman made a good choice? If they make the choice of a good man, they're miserable because they got a pussy. If they make the choice of a G, they're miserable because they got a G. They're just, women are just miserable. Just unhappiness. Then they end up being a scat, running around, just fucking everyone, trying to find the perfect guy. By the time they get a guy that could have been the perfect guy, they're 30 dicks deep, so their head's all messed up. So then even though they got the guy they dreamt, once dreamt of, they can't keep him anymore because they're dreaming of that gangbang they had. Oh, I wish I got gangbanged again. This is boring. Mr. Two Pumps. We need to bring a range marriage back. That's the solution.